starts now. Now for the latest products and vehicles to save us gas and money. We are joined by Techno Dad, Mike Ferrara. Good to see you back. Welcome to the Thanks show. Thanks, guys. Mike. You have the coolest job in the world. Uh. <laughs> you got to find out about all these incredible things before they hit the, the marketplace. Oh, you yeah. Get to try them out. Well, I, I freely admit I'm addicted. I have to w listen to that next segment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> techno, uh, te addiction. techno addiction. But I'm sure there's some good things about that. Yeah, well, I'm sure you brought some good things with you today. Yes. So, what what yes. are you starting with? Well, uh, the iPod Touch was just redesigned uh, uh, last month, and I wanted to show you this because uh, oh. they have updated the software on it so that. If you don't have a GPS, you can use your iPod to get where you're going. Wow. Because it's got uh, built-in Wi-Fi, yeah. and, you know, just about everywhere has a free Wi-Fi. Tell that for a little bit. Sure. Free Wi-Fi wi spot. See? So for $2.99, you can use this as your iPod. It, you also get your email, but uh, the great thing is it's got this great touch screen wow. on it, and you can expand it oh. right. and really zero in on where you want to be. Right so, hey, you're in our neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah there it is. There right. it is. Right so you have no excuse for uh, not, not finding where you want to go. You know, guys hate to ask for directions, as you well know. Right. Yes. So, <laughs> I really <laughs> want one of those. So it's called the iPod Touch or the iTouch? Yeah, right. the iTouch. Okay. iPod That's Touch. So cool. Now, this is called AutoNet, and this kind of goes with the iPod because this is a traveling Wi-Fi hotspot that you can install in your car. So instead of uh, f driving around, wasting gas, looking for hot spots, you can do this in your car. It costs about $4.99 to get the unit. It's installed by a dealer. A lot of Chrysler dealers are offering this now. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it's about $30 a month, and you get high-speed Internet. It's like uh, 6 kilobits per second, just like you get in your home. And it's great because unlike those cell phone things that you stick in your laptop, that's only good for one computer, you can have your kids doing your video games, you can have a laptop, not in the driver's seat, of course. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> everyone else can have a grand old time while you're driving. So, like with the iTouch, you, it, only, it will only work in hotspots. So if you're That's cruising right. down I-5 and there's no signal, then you can't find Unless you have an auto net. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Right, so, now if you have a, the new uh, 3G uh, iPhone, then you, you don't need a, a Wi-Fi. Okay, because you need to be use using the cell, the cell towers. That's okay, right. That's so right. let's talk about cars. There's yeah, these let's tiny talk about cars, cars that are on the street now. Do you guys see those things? I don't know if they're safe. Well, this this is, one I this see This is everywhere. a smart car. This is made by Daimler, and it is unbelievable. It, it fits into about uh, one parking spot. You can fit two cars into one parking spot. <laughs> wow. Now, it's got all the safety features. It's got a three-cylinder engine, gets about 35 miles per gallon up to about 41, and uh, it's extremely uh, you know maneuverable. Uh, it's got an automatic transmission. It, it comes in a convertible version as well as a hardtop. Starts at about twelve thousand dollars. So. Uh, I would not recommend this for high-speed, long-distance travel, travel, but mm -hmm. for around downtown and, and in the suburbs, it's fantastic. You can see how easy it Bumper is to cars, park. Bumper cars, that's what it looks like. <laughs> no, you know, this car's the butt looks like it's always smushed when you're driving, you know? I'm like, man, it's what's true. going on with that car? Well, I have to get into one of those, see how comfortable it is for someone yeah. six foot two. Yeah, now, got you might legs. feel a little bit cramped. Uh, and it's a, it's uh, also got a little trunk in it, so you can fit maybe a day pack or something oh, like yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. So, but like I said, you don't want to have it uh, cross country or anything. Right. Like that. And then there's another car. Other yeah. dealers are this making. This is called makers. the Gem Car. It stands for Global Electric Motors. It's made by Chrysler Corporation. Believe it or not, it's mm. the most Whoa. profitable division of Chrysler, which is pretty funny because this is all electric. This is great for gated communities. Uh, it goes about 25 miles per gallon. It's street legal in California on roads that are rated 35 miles an hour or less okay. and you basically plug it in at night like you plug in your toaster uh, it takes six to eight hours to recharge and uh, you know basically if you just want to pop around town go to the doctors do all your errands this is the vehicle for you cool. I think <laughs> such a little dork I'm like there's Spencer Christian that little car it starts about about $7,500 so the insurance is oh. a lot less yeah, yeah $7,500 yeah. okay That's and right. then you have one more car to show yes, us right? I have a Volkswagen Jetta. Now everybody knows the Jetta, but this is a turbo diesel Jetta. Uh, these just came out. There's also a sport wagon version. The great thing about the Jetta, it has uh, very, very high mileage. It's got almost uh, close to 50 miles per gallon. Wow. Uh, uh, the range of over 600 miles. You get a $1,300 gas credit for the Jetta. Hmm. And Diesels last forever, so if you like to keep your car a long time like I do, okay. a diesel is a great option. Now, a lot of people say diesel, Mike, that's noisy, they smell, right. you have to go to truck stops, all untrue. 
you will not know the difference between a diesel and a gas engine. Very quiet. Huh. You, just about every gas station now sells diesel, and there's absolutely no noise. Plus, it's turbocharged. So unlike gasoline engines, you know, turbocharged engines usually have a lag, and you really have to get going. This car, you really feel it just off the line. Mm. So $25,000 uh, diesel has actually come down in price along with gas. So you might pay a little bit more for the car, but... Uh, you're gonna, it's going to average out a lot less, okay. about 30% less. Well, Mike, thanks a lot. You can find everything Mike has shown us and more just by going to our website. Techno Dad, always a treat. Thanks, Mike. Thank, Thank you. Stay right there. Don't go away. Thank you. <laughs>